This is about how to build an Anacapa offshore Pacific power dory. My name is Jeff Spira, and I've been designing boats for a long time, and I designed this one as well. You start by building this dory by building the frames. These are just straight uh, construction grade lumber. You can buy at any lumber yard. Then you set the frames up onto what I call a strong back jig that holds them all together. And you cut out the middle and uh, a keelson is added that ties all these frames together. The frames are then notched and a shear clamp is added. Well, actually this is the chine log, sorry. The shear clamp goes on the top side here uh, and it uh, provides a base for screwing the plywood in. Then you lean plywood against the sides of this boat and use it to cut out the ply and start attaching. Here's the ply already finished on the sides of the hull. <clears throat> Finally, you add uh, plywood to the bottom of the hull as well. Then you sand the ply and fill any holes, and then you fiberglass the hull. Two layers of cloth, either 6 ounce or 10 ounce, uh, with epoxy resin are usually recommended. Then flip it over and you're ready to start working on the inside. This builder decided to add a cabin. Here you can see the framing and the uh, cabin top already in place. Uh, then the boat uh, with a little paint on it comes out looking like this. There's all sorts of cabin styles you can make. You can begin with just a simple cutty cabin like this one. Uh, or then you can add a stand-up pilot house. This one was built up in Alaska and he needed to get out of the rain. Here's one with a stand-up pilot house and a cuddy cabin. And uh, finally, this one is a full cabin uh, and uh, it's got inside seating and bunks and everything. It's pretty well uh, apportioned. Or you can leave it just open like this builder down in Australia did. Here's a video of him running on his maiden voyage. Gorgeous day on Sydney Harbour. Always got to be careful with the ferries in Sydney Harbour. Charles, give us a thumbs up. That's Clark's point. Maiden voyage. <clears throat> Should tidy up all the mess. You get the idea. You want to go up and be lookout? Stay away from the uh, shore, mate. That's it. The fishermen all have their lines in here. One thing about the Anna Capra is she moves along really nicely even when she's not in a plane. We're very pleased by the cruising speed. This is not in a plane. And the engine is maybe one third. What? I'm just talking to the video. We put in a Woolwich Pier over there. So we've been up the river, Lanco River. That's Cockatoo Island. Here's John English's boat. This one has a 70 horse motor on it. And here's a, him running with uh, that motor. I guess he's doing in the mid 20s here or so. Well, stop by my website and you can download free study prints for this plan and my other plans as well. And while you're there, join the Insider section. It gives you access to all kinds of seminars and uh, free boat plans and uh, lots of good and free information uh, where you can learn more about the Anacapa and my many other designs.